Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. Report reaching us right now is that Olori Nami, who was slated to travel to Switzerland with Adeni Kaumu, is rumored to have been refused boarding, citing Oni of Ife's disapproval of traveling with Adeni Kaumu. I knew that sooner or later this was going to happen if issues are not resolved, okay? And under the circumstances, there's nobody who will say Oni of Ife doesn't have the right to stop them because Adeni Kaumu is a son, but they said um, the, there was a document that Oni had given to Lori Nami the entire time. Nami had been using it, but because Nami has become adamant, citing, as in uh, making it very clear to the Oni of Ife that no matter what happens, she doesn't want to stay in that relationship. She's ready to jumpstart her life, and which she has done so well. You know, when um, Nami's mother celebrated birthday, I saw the calmness in Nami's eyes. I saw the calmness, like it, it looks like she's in that point where she has accepted what has happened and she has been able to find peace and she is ready to go out and see what um, awaits her in the other side of life. And right now, they say she is very adamant that she is not returning back to the only of it fair. But from what we are hearing, that is, if this information is true, they said that Naomi has a project with the TBN. TBN is Tr and Trinity Broadcasting Network. And uh, that project started like um, two years ago. She did it about two years ago for like three months and she stopped. And then again, she got that project that only recently she was in London, that she went there because of that project, but she is supposed to return back to Switzerland, that um, the project is going to be taking place for um, another three months, okay? In between, she said she'll be coming back home because of church. This time, not every Sunday, but she'll come time and time again. And so what we have heard was that when she she was supposed to fly from London back um, to Switzerland, but no, she did not do it because she needed to be there to celebrate her mother's birthday with her so she came back to Nigeria. That is if the information we are hearing, if it is correct, we are hearing that right now that uh, Olori Nami had finished everything upon having that um, last conversation with the owner of Ife, uh, she was return, uh, supposed to return back to Switzerland that uh, she had prepared Nami is very quiet. You see her, she's not doing the social media uh, stuff that she used to do. She has taken her affairs out of social media. You you can see what happened that even the mother's birthday, I don't think she even posted it on her Instagram page. Like normally she will do that, right? So Nami, they said she was supposed to board um, a flight that is en route, en route I think, um, um, I don't know. Some people are saying en route Amsterdam to Switzerland or en route where. I don't know. That's not even important right now. They said that she wasn't allowed to board the flight, citing uh, uh, New York first disapproval of her traveling with Tadeni Kawo. So apparently what this means is that she needs to come back to the drawing board and sit with KBSC so they can discuss and find a way around um, this um, situation that is getting very, very tense every day and I really wish that there is a way that they can really, really, like really, really be able to sort out this issue. They said Olori Nami was very disappointed and unhappy about the situation because um, um, oh, Kabiya C already knows that she is taking very good care of Tadeni Kawa. Nami, you know Nami is a, a, Nami is a very, very responsible woman. She is responsible to the core. Everybody knows even on your FIFA knows and Nami has been an amazing mother to that young angel, Tade Nika, who even Kabiesi knows. Now, if Tade, Kabiesi is saying that Nami cannot travel with Tade Nika, Tade Nika was just a young boy. That boy is barely four years old. And you cannot remove such a small child from um, Nami's hand and give to some other person. I don't think that would be fair on the mother. And I think one of the major reasons why Kabiesi may be making this decision um, will be that... Um, 
because uh, he knows how close, like Nami and Tadenika were for now, they are, you can't separate them. It's almost like one person, okay? And although um, I think the only of Ife knows that this is the best place to catch her because she will not uh, leave her son and go anywhere. And right now, only of Ife has as much right to Tadenika as Olori Nami. And if only is saying, my son is not going out of the country, so will it be? Because I do know that if they decide to go to court again, uh, court is not going to give only of Ife full custody. It's going to give only of Ife, you know, um, um, part um, um, uh, custody of Tade Nikawu, and then only will have a right to make 50% decisions of the things that happens to Tade Nikawu. And this is not a good um, place to be for Olori Naomi right now. I just um, really think that they need to find a way to come to, you know, to uh, somehow, as in Till a little to the left, till a little to the right, to for the sake of um, their, their, both, their both happiness and all of that. I feel really sorry and sad about what this Olorinami has been through. She's been through a lot, but um, I do know that God is faithful and I do know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ever think or imagine. Nami deserves better than what she is getting. Nami deserves to have peace. Nami deserves to have that happiness that she longs for. Now, for those people who are very, very close to them, who think they know if this information is true, do not forget this clause. If this information is true, do not forget if this information is true. A lot of people are saying that um, uh, uh, Kami and C feels like Naomi um, uh, wants to move ahead so fast to go and marry some other person and Kami and C will never ever let Naomi go with Sande Nikawo. This is what a lot of people are saying. I don't know how true that is. We heard something about a Captain of Baby, but the last time I checked, they said that they are just friends, okay? And the last time I also checked, they said that up until now, Naomi cannot even have any kind of intimacy with anybody because of some of those things that they are fighting to get out of her. And a lot of you will come to this block and say, eh, why did she not even born again? She's not a pastor. Why would she go and do covenant? See, sometimes eh, life will just eh, push you to situations that you do not understand. And as a human being, you may never be able to comprehend the things that are happening in your life. And a lot of you are just here to court blames, uh, blame Nami, insult her and all of that. I'm never going to insult anyone because you know I don't but sometimes we need to dig deeper to understand decisions that people made. Olori Nami has said time and time again that God had sent her death on an errand but right now you do know that she is listening to the, to the Holy Spirit and all of that. She's being directed by the Holy Spirit and I'm sure that the day that the Holy Spirit said Nami back and go back, she will go back but until then, let's see how this goes and let's continue to pray that everything between herself and Oni of Ife will be sorted out amicably. I'm going to bring you more updates. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media. Um, I love you guys so much, Dela Wright. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.